You are watching the moment a freighter ran aground on the banks of the Delaware River. It's video you'll only see right here on Action News. And breaking right now, we're learning more about what caused the ship to almost slam into the shore near the Burlington-Bristol Bridge. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm Shirley Ellicott. And I'm Brian Taft. The big story on Action News today is that ship that ran aground in the Delaware River. We are learning more about where the ship came from, where it was going, and what set it so wildly off course. New Jersey correspondent Nora Mishanik live near the scene in Burlington. And Nora, what more can you tell us right now? Brian, a wild day here on the Delaware this afternoon. It's a beautiful day, so there are lots of people out walking along the promenade here, out fishing, and then the unthinkable happens. A giant ship heading directly at them. Now, this is the video. This is the home video of the scene at about 2 o'clock this afternoon on the Delaware when a ship was out of control and heading straight for the shore in Burlington City, just north of the Burlington-Bristol Bridge. That ship, the Aegea Irini, is a bulk carrier or freighter registered in Liberia. Built in 2010, it's two, 623 feet long, and when it ran ashore just feet away from the waterfront walkway, you can see the waves it kicked up on the side of the ship and the water that was forced up onto the promenade here. There were lots of people outside watching this happen. Imagine what that must have been like to see that boat several stories high and two football fields long heading straight for shore. One witness said it looked like the Titanic coming at them. Now, from what we understand, the steel freighter lost propulsion and that is why it ran aground. No one was hurt on the ship and no in injuries on land either, we're happy to say. Witnesses say three tugboats on scene turned the tug around and pulled it out to the channel, pointing it in the right direction, south, which was no easy task because of the mud here. The ship will be put on administrative hold, anchored or docked while they try to figure out why it lost propulsion capabilities in the first place. Now, if you come back live now, you can see the impressions in the mud left by the Aegea Arini. There are people coming by to look. It caused quite a commotion here today, as you can tell from that amazing home video. Witnesses say it took about 15 or 20 minutes to free the ship and turn it around, and then it was gone as quickly as it arrived. You almost wouldn't believe that it happened if you didn't see that video. Live on the Delaware River in Burlington, I'm Nora Mushanik, Channel 6 Action News.